Hi Darkroom Booth users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this short video, we're going to be talking about burst mode GIFs, how to set them up, some of the basics, uh, getting started. Um, so the first thing, we'll kind of talk about what it is. It's a, a file that's created from a video and that's chopped up, frames are taken out of the video and then put back together as a, a GIF or an MP4, um, essentially as an animated or a video file. The um, couple requirements, you'll want to have FFmpeg installed. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to download that. And you'll want to be on a newer version of Windows. This won't work on Windows 7, so Windows 8. We would recommend being on Windows 10. And that you'll want to have a little bit faster processor because we are working with video. So an i5 or an i7 is preferable. Um, so the first thing is going to be um, having FFmpeg installed and you can download that from darkroomsoftware.com if you click on support and then downloads under photo booth software right here you'll see the FFmpeg utility and just go ahead and click that install it um, and the way to know that it has been installed it doesn't have to be running or anything like that but you'll want to check your C drive to make sure you have this folder right here as long as it's there you're fine so the next thing we'll want to do is um, uh, create a new event so we're not affecting any of the other events or templates so we'll go ahead and duplicate the sample photo video event that's this event right here Crit, uh, duplicate and let's rename it to sample first photo event okay and click OK okay so the next thing that we'll want to do is um, update the screen template and we'll want to make sure that we save it as a, a copy so we're not overriding the original uh, video option screen template click edit and change this from video session to burst session and uh, check the option for enable playback and we'll go ahead and update this text okay and then I'm gonna update the name to be first option and save as so it saves a new screen template and we now have that checked so the next um, thing we'll want to do is switch over to our text tab and we're going to want to check this option right here to preview the GIF so after it records it'll give us a playback and then we'll go to our camera menu and if you're just setting uh, video options up for the first time if you're going to be emailing uh, that uh, burst mode video you'll want to make sure that allow videos to be emailed is set to yes and then we will go to the video menu and this is where we're actually going to control all the different settings. The default is pretty uh, a pretty average setting. You can change the amount of time that you record for um, and how many images are then played back and how fast they play back. You can also set whether it's MP4 or, or saved as a, a GIF file. The GIF is going to loop indefinitely versus the MP4 might be a little bit more versatile and where you can use it. The option to play forward and then rewind and 
uh, is boomerang and that's right here so by default it's checked but if you want to just play forward um, and not have that rewind effect you would uncheck that you can also add a template so if I want to apply a template I can do that as well we'll go ahead and start the booth okay now we're in the session we'll go ahead and click burst mode and record we'll have to adjust that text um, you want to just double check to make sure no text is outside of the area and I'll make some movements and then it should process the video and take just a moment and then now it's playing back um, it has the sepia effect because that's on the template but then I would go ahead and click OK and then email it to myself Okay, so that's the basics, uh, how to set up Booth and some of the requirements that are needed to use Burst Mode, or what some people call Boomerang. I hope this has been helpful, and thank you very much for watching. Till next time.